I fixed my microphone. I changed it so that the settings don't automatically choose my Oculus device, which isn't even plugged in. I've got my kombucha. Hmm. Just in time. I hope Storch and Mina don't step on Elster. Haha, <laughs> that would be awful, wouldn't it? Kind of booch. I got a I got a nice pear kombucha. <clears throat> I'm down with this bucha. Let's go. Becoming a booch head. I've always been down with kombucha. Tucker, didn't you do like a... It wasn't an experiment. It was like a... <clears throat> A theoretical experiment on how much kombucha you could drink before you get drunk. Nowhere within route front. Okay. From what I remember, we were stuck here. But I had a, um... I had a brain blast. The napkin math, yeah. It's, like, impossible. Well, yeah, because you would die before, uh... You would drink so much that you would physically burst before you got drunk. Colibri. a heart attack from the caffeine. Either way, it's very funny. <laughs> yeah, less than 1%. Burn through your teeth. It takes four beers to get drunk and you have to do that in like an hour. Five percent if it's light. I I swear I had like I swear I had, not Elena, I had... <clears throat> yeah, Ariane, we need her number to get into... here. <laughs> you become the guy from 7 who's got busted. 20 booches in an hour. I think it's a lot less than that. Yeah, I think so too. What was I doing? Let me look at my inventory. I got a store key. Photo store. Got the star. Um, let me go put that away. Because surely I don't need it at this moment. Let me think. The math with mouthwash. Dude, mouthwash is just sad. I know at um 
when I worked at the halfway house, we had to like confiscate mouthwash that had alcohol in it. It's just sad. Oh. Alright, we got that thing. I didn't even see it on the ground. Yeah, it is pretty high. It's higher than you'd think. Don't get up. Lovers. And I ruined the painting. It sounds excessive. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you'd think it sounds excessive, but when people are struggling like that, with a, a, a serious addiction, like, they'll drink it. They'll do it without even thinking. Yeah, when they're drinking the hands- that's- yeah, that was another thing, like, because I worked there during COVID, right? Like, we had to make sure that, um, like, people couldn't have their own hand sanitizer. They had to come to the desk to use it because of that reason. Guilty Gears Network is down. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Yeah, Dave, now you can practice, uh, Ultra Fight. Okay, so I got that painting done. Keypad, meat- oh yeah, that's right, I said I was gonna jump down the meat grinder. Ate a big sandwich. I, um, I had a bag of cookies. I posted a picture of it in my discord the uh the mushroom cookies a rubbing alcohol bender damn <laughs> that was weird can't wait for this year to be over but dave it's only march Maybe I should have checked and made sure I had enough ammo. In case there's a boss fight coming up. It's like repair spray. Oh wait, we've been here before. This is the mess hall. Ooh, the tower. I'll take that. Oh, some teeth are here. Oh, nice. That's right, the, uh... Is there anything else here? Yeah, Abba looks kind of cool. Yeah, I I do like that they're bringing back characters that were, like, forgotten in other games. Because Abba's from, like, a long time ago. But when the fuck are they going to add Robokai? When the fuck are they going to put in Robot Kyle? Oh, no. Literally the plan after this year, I'm retiring for good. But you're still going to play Ultra Fight with us, right? Have you ever played any other big horror games? Resident Evil or Silent Hill? I've played... I played, uh, I played, uh, I played, uh, uh, I played, uh, oh wait, I didn't read this. 
Million starve as Imperial blockade continues. Damn. Due to the ongoing transit of Kitaze. Kitaz. Ration supply shipments to Veneta have been disrupted by Imperial forces again. Millions of Eurasian citizens must starve for yet another month as Imperial missile frigates in the Kit Kite Kites orbit critically damaged one of our humanitarian convoys on their way to Oh whoa, hey, yeah. It sounds kind of familiar. We'll continue to block free travel between Venita Rot Front and Hamat for another eight seasons, which leaves our liberation troops on Venita stranded on the desolate ocean world with minimal support. Convoys will continue to be sent despite the Imperial blockade. Only through perseverance can we rebuild what remains. Damn. Uh, I've played Resident Evil 4, um, the original, on GameCube, up to the castle, and then I said, uh, this seems like a good place to save. Um, I'm gonna save, and then I never played the game ever again. There's a body here. I kind of want to look at this science experiment. What's going on over here? Early Signalis, yeah. I had the day off. I just went to the gym. The castle is everyone's favorite part. I don't know, man. I, I took a break, and then I was just like, I'll play this a little later, and then I sold the game, and I don't think I have my GameCube anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I've never played a Silent Hill, never played, never finished a Resident Evil, I should say. Um, when it comes to horror, I think the only, like... Oh, the castle is everyone's least favorite part? Oh. I thought you were being serious. When it comes to horror games, I think the only one that I've really played was, like, Amnesia. Back when it came out. Okay. It's 145, right? Yeah. The island's the worst part, because after the castle, which runs way too long. But you got the regenerators. Oh god, my ears. Okay, it's not this way. Oh, I'm trying to run. Oh, I guess I just died. But you get the regenerators on the islands. the scariest enemy ever. Okay. What what am I at? What am I what am I doing? What what, what happened? The <laughs> regenerators are just silly little guys. I, I I do love how the game has like genuinely scary enemies like the regenerators in the uh the the fucking the big bugs in the sewer or in like the basement of the castle the ones that are like invisible and shit and then there's like goofy moments where fucking my guy Leon says where's everyone going bingo and and when he's talking to fucking the little guy with the hat, the silly little guy with the hat, he's like, your right hand comes off? No Vistadors, yeah, that's the one. When do we play every Silent Hill game in order? Uh, maybe soon. I've always wanted to. Interesting to get a perspective of someone playing a fan throwback classic survival horror from someone who's never played an actual one, yeah. Yeah, Indiana Jones running away from the giant robot, yeah, that part too, that's silly. It mixes scary with, like, genuinely goofy moments. And the dogs in the hedge maze. I remember watching my cousin play that part, and I was just like, this is fucking scary. Okay, I got star, I got lovers. Okay, so I, I saved right before going into the, the meat grinder.
I wonder if it'd be better to start with some other utter dog shit instead of top tier stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then there's like the cool moments where you like you hold out in the in the house with um fuck, what's his name? I can't remember the guy's name. But he's like, oh, I see the president's daughter is equipped with ballistics or some shit. Lewis, yeah. Like, that moment's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, Tucker's right. <laughs> we just play them in reverse order. Fucking good answer, Tucker. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Start with what, what was the one that came out this year? The one that was just like absolute shit. Dave played it. Okay. I don't like these enemies. They attack my ears directly. Uh, you're the one. It's you! It's you! You're the American Psycho! He doesn't say that. Oh, I got the one back there. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Hold up. I'm gonna space it. That's not the line. He doesn't say that. <laughs> he he doesn't say that. That's that's not how it goes. Downpour is pretty bad. Okay, we're gonna stick with the prod. Prod with the prod. Let's get him in the light so I can actually see. Oh, somebody died here too. All right, bitches. Double kill. The newest Silent Hill keeps being the worst one. I think you streamed Homecoming last a long time ago. Oh shit, I only got one shot, my shotgun left. Let's just take a look see in these areas. Put these away. The stun prod seems really strong. Yeah, it's great. You never used it? Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. You're a game reviewer and you don't even use all of the game's mechanics. Come on. Come on, Dave. Okay, so this is the way back up. I should switch my gun, just in case. Not stun prod enthusiasts. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It works. I'm gonna use the revolver for a bit. Oops, it's not equipped. My guns were good enough. I use it because it's... I use it just to save ammo. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you guarding something? There's several of you. Oh, shit! Oh, not this shit again. Okay, hold on. 87. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What's the title screen? Ah, uh, look at the one in the middle! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the prod when I go in there. I played a little bit of hard mode and ran out of all ammo. Yeah, yeah. Missed a lot of the last stream. I, uh, I beat the game. But there's more. Alright. I, I think I'm dead. Okay, so I'm not supposed to get that close to them. Let me just turn off my radio. Get some heal spray. You found the girl? No, we didn't. We didn't find her. We had to go back. We had to go back to the island. And then we got in the boat. <sighs> just sneak right past this one. Let me just scooch right past you there. Oh, no, 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 no. What have we got here? Okay. Oh, I know where this is. Yeah, right here. Good shit. right past you there. Okay, what's what's this room? Where's my map button? There we go. I have two keys, so I may as well check them. Oops. I've got patient key, photo store. Maybe this one's the one. There we go. Sure. <gasps> that's... That's her! Is it her? That looks like her picture, but I don't see her name. Is her name Alina, or...? I thought this was her. Is that her? I thought this was her.
Nina's diary. I also remember a different name in a different life. I think they're both the same person using film cameras. Yeah, well, you know, it's just uh, it's just the style at the time. Okay. Now we've got a photo tank. An undeveloped photo is inside. Oh, okay. Sure, we'll just use these together then. Oh, and then this is the, uh, yep. Where's that scanner? That way. I'm gaming. Wait, let me put my stuff away first. We're gaming. So I guess my girlfriend has become two people. Whoa. Where's the big one? Is it hiding behind the pillar there? The sun leaving. I've been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working at the photo store in Sector C is bioresonant. Be careful. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I'm on the next ship to Kit... Kit... Kites... Kits... Kit... Kit... Kitise... Tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too. Cool. Uh oh. I guess it wasn't there. But surely, let me check around this corner. Okay, we've got the sun card now. Oh, let me just scooch right past you there. Hold on. So we're done down here. We got nothing left to do. Good shit. Always love that. Let me save my game. Now we'll go clear out that room. First things first, though. Okay, so there is another door down that way. And I can unlock this door here, but I'm going to have to walk through. Only to get Zahn, they're doing a construction on the one highway everyone uses. Love that. Um, I hate that. How much ammo do I have? Six? More than enough to kill anything that moves. Got him. Okay. The red eye. There exists a strange folklorish idea in many sec sectors of Rotfront related to per Peridalia tendency to see meaningful images in random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a dirt, smudge of dirt. It is well known that the so-called red eye is simply an anti-cyclonic storm produced by a high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Rotfront's planet. Yet for some of the early setter, settlers of Rotfront, this natural phenomenon became symbolic of their struggle and a way of life. The red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for the ever-present surveillance by the protectors in the tight grip of the central government on Haymat. Even today, the idea of an unblinking, watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strongly with the people here. 
Good shit. <clears throat> During the celebration of Monfest, at the end of each season, adult citizens will sometimes give students ration marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who died in the revolution, but the red coins share an eerie, eerie resemblance to that red eye. Should you ever receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the paint with acetone or similar paint thinner. Spending or regifting paint covered coins is considered to bring bad luck. So they say all that, but they still talk about bad luck. Oh god, no! Oh lord, no! Alright, so that's a way back. Okay, and then this is the room with the the shit going on. Let me equip a prod. And I got two bullets, so I'm gonna go back and get more bullets. I'm gonna grab the fucking submachine gun. And I'm going to save my game. I do like the unlimited saves. I think that's cool. But... Because I know, um... Like, some of the Resident Evil games have, like, limited months of saves. Okay. Big lady. Shoot the big lady. Shoot the big lady. Oh, I got the other one. Alright. Uh. You're alive? Is it alive? It's moving. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's dead. Reunification. Whoa. Reunification at any cost. Yikes. I'm a lot of ammo, so. Remake 2 as ink ribbons, but only on hardcore. Okay. Unlimited saves and checkpoints. Alright. But if I'm going to play Resident Evil, should I play the remakes or the originals? Uh, let's see. Flare gun. Rifle. Damn, I'm running out of ammo. I think I'm gonna rock the pistol for a little bit. And I'm going to save my game. There's nothing else in here, is there? Why is that thing still moving? It's bugging me. <laughs> <laughs> it's bugging me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, so this is a new area that I haven't been to before. Oh, because that door unlocks from the other side. Got it. Ugh. What have we got here? Ooh. Surely that's going to be a puzzle solution. P. Elster? P. 
What can we get from you? Bioresonance technology and its limitations. Fixed camera on remake? Hmm. Oh, it's playing this song. Moonlight Sonata. No other technology has shaped our nation as Bioresonance has. Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the Empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like keloforming or keemleforming or keem keelmaforing, okay, and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with the conventional technology. Progresses in, in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt donor to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the dupe why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Creating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I do believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. Damn. That's a good point. <laughs> it just works. Okay. We hiding. All right, let's hop back in. That door is not real. That door is not real. This looks like a trash chute. Maybe I can jump in. Nice. <laughs> Got ourselves a little scrimblow here. A little scramblow there. Door together. Baby, you got a stew going. Shock. Aww. Oh, no. No, no ammo. Red disket. You can get the shit pit ending like in Funger. <laughs> oh man, I guess I'll just use the repair spray. Fuck it. I am at low or caution. Good old shit pit ending. <laughs> Excuse me while I jump in the shit pit. Ow. I'm jumping. No one can stop me. <laughs> Why would Ragnavalder do this? So these are the planets. And then there's, there's the hole. The hole that was here, and now it's here. Uh. Computer. C computer! Pop in the, the other diskette. got looks like a calendar meta bank oh it's spreadsheet oh never mind oh so this is where we get the code chronic asthma osteoporosis severe hearing loss download all Multiple sclerosis. 
Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Patient is forget forgetful about her medication. No. Sprained ankle. Huh. Minor fracture. Double laceration. Regularly treated for small lesions. Very prone to accidents. Removed. Wait, 90 year old woman? Wait, where is she? Oh, oh, you probably just, yeah. <laughs> Osteoporosis, chronic asthma. Bronchial infection. Sinus infection. This is a guy. Claims to be unable to take part in communal morning exercises. Ha! Huh? He's he's a writer. He's Trimpleton. <gasps> so hers. He's a sleepy guy. You can't wake him up for that. <laughs> so her code is 5921. I think that'll open the bookstore. Wait, wrong way. Okay, wrong one. If that's not it, then it's probably... Yeah. 0524. Whoops, I did that backwards. five two four maybe it's oh yeah it's probably the whole number I thought like the last four digits were the same for both of them but it's five six oh five two four I'm so gamer what have we got here in the bookstore Song of the Gods. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that a few are fully aware of. A song that we all dance to, but few can hear. This deep vibration of the cosmos cannot be cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that cannot only hear and play this music of the worlds, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the empire of Yusan and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the empire on their carbon steel backs. More like book snore. These <laughs> books are boring. <laughs> Fucking got him. 
Uh oh. We got a cutscene. Isa, I couldn't find her. You lost your eye, too. I looked everywhere. She's not here anymore. I can't go on. I'm sorry. No, oh, just come with me, man. We'll do this shit. Uh oh, she's changing. She's becoming a zombie. Blah. Oh, man. She dead dead. Forgive me. Prometheus. Here, uh, here sit I, forming mortals, after my image, a race resembling me, to suffer, to weep, to enjoy, to be glad, and thee to scorn as I. Oh, they didn't make it. Issa wearing a school uniform. Erica. Resonant phenomena. Synchronicity. Phenomena that are meaningfully related, yet lack a causal relation. We've yet to discover the true source of the ability to, of the mind to alter the physical world, yet creating physical phenomenon remotely, simply by consciously or unconsciously willing them into existence, forms the basis of the entire field of bioresonance technology. Before the advent of bioresonance technology, the causal correlations were often falsely interpreted simply as chance. Many phenomena such as remote viewing, doppelgangers, or the Pauli effect have been classified as synchronistic phenomena related to bioresonant effects. The world we live in would be impossible without bioresonance, but its origins remain unclear. If it was truly a divine gift from outer space, as the late Empress claimed, why was she defeated by our great revolutionary, who had no such divine powers? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So... We went through the book snore. The moon's mural is something. A computer is still lit up. Like, there's something I need to do there. Everything down here looks like it's finished. Um... Butterflies. There's still a safe in there. Yeah, it's still lit up. Okay. Um. Oh, right. I've got the person's house key. I can go in there now. All right, let's do that. How do I get up there? Ladder room. I just go west. Oh, come on, man. Okay. Let's dump this and this and this and this. We will take out the key. Oh, 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 oh hold on, hold on. Let me save my game first before anything drastic happens.
man. I'm gonna have to put you down. Oh. She died. Wait a minute. Was that always there? No. I could go through there at one point. Interesting. Oh dear. Dream Diary. I dreamt I was an imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the deserts of Ikitze when a storm consumed us, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. I was a worker in the mines of Ling when I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh, my flesh joining with the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh, which persists beyond death. As the storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Vinita, but I never reached the ocean below. I kept falling when suddenly lightning, lightning struck the building and I woke up. I was floating in a sunless sea below the ice of Rotfront when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. I was walking through the, the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sun like iris burned my body to ashes. Okay. Shit. Well, shit. So that's lovers. That's... Uh, one of them's tower, for sure. Let me go back and get all my damn cards. You, your cards. Nobody else get up, okay? Really doing fortune telling? Yeah. I'm gonna do a little, a quick little tarot reading. I'm gonna need to dump all my shit. I've got lovers, death, tower, star, and sun. That's, I'm missing one. Well, shit. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go put them down. And then I'll be fine. Actually, you know what? There were, there were only five pages in the Dream Diary, so maybe I don't need another one. Let's see. Okay. So, Kitse is lovers. Yep. Minds of Lang, consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh, which persists beyond death. It mentions death, so probably death. Tower. Rot front. A large creature moving in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. Star? And then Buyan was, uh, sun. Oh.
Where could that pesky last card be? I don't even need it. Okay. Looks like the dial ring is missing. What do you mean it's missing? It's... Uh... <laughs> Come on, man. Alright. Death was laying. Does that mean rot front is wrong? No, I think it's right. It's just I might have to go find one. Lovers was kids a Is that it? Which one was Hey Matt? Uh... Oh, that was the nothing. Okay, so. Maybe Rot Front is wrong. Well, two of them should be the same. That looks like star and tower should be the same, so... Maybe I flipped sun and star? Maybe. I should have took a picture with the one with light on, because I can't fucking tell which is which. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. Yeah, maybe Sun is the other one because it, it talks about a big creature. Um, let's see. Bouillon. Okay.
these those two should be the same. Rot front can't be changed though. So maybe rot front was right and that this is yeah, I think Route Front was the sun. So this, so Bouillon would be full. Because Route Front can't be changed. I don't know, this looks right. Oh, I think it was right because I can't go back here now. Something changed. Moon's mural still isn't finished. And the tarot table doesn't look like it's finished yet in the meat room. Uh let me check the butterflies. Oh, but I gotta walk all the way around for that. Damn it. Damn, you really gotta walk all the way around for that. Oh, wait, you can't even go that way anymore. I'm gonna have to go down through the meat grinder and then up through the fire escape. And then up again to the, okay. Shid. Oh, whoops. Let me grab that. I think that was shotgun ammo. So the trains are still running. This way, we're in the alley. It's like an S E It's a Z. Okay, so that looks like an A, an E, an O. A. 
then maybe the clear the answer is clearly but you're right so there was last card moon oh so that must have been that must be the other one okay that must be the uh the giant monster I was wondering, because, like, sun doesn't seem right for that, but moon seems perfect. <laughs> I didn't know the, uh, the solution was right there in the room. Is, is the solution to the puzzle in the room with us right now? I didn't know. I guess it was. I really like the puzzles in this game. It's it's a lot cooler than I thought. Service room. Okay, yeah, that leads back up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Hold up. I can't go into the pack station room anymore. So I'm gonna run. Okay, I think I'm done with this area. A document? Oh, the, the one that tells you? Oh shit, things have changed here a lot. <gasps> Dial ring. Among the best in any survival horror. That's cool. These, these puzzles are awesome. Huh. The computer still looks like it has some shit to do. I also really dig that the, uh... Yeah, it tells you, but it doesn't spell it out for you. Yeah, it says, like, there's stuff to do in this computer. Maybe it's just transmit... I don't know. Hair to make a fishing line? Was that in this game or was that uh was that in fucking Go East? What was that? What was that uh the game that Thomas played? Silent Hill two or oh two or three. Oh okay. Yeah, go east to the library, but like the text says go west. Silent Hill 2 is the hair fishing line. Okay, let's turn this off. I will take this. Rot front gets the moon. Yeah, the eye patch girl. Clouds of Bouillon. Yeah, the sun like iris burned my body. Clearly this one is the sun. Whoops, I accidentally moved my control stick. Alright. Now we have the puzzle solution. Gonna take two pictures just so I know what I'm looking at. Yeah, you got it. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what that game was called. <laughs> oh wait, I I should grab a gun just in case. I got shotgun ammo, so I'll just bring one of those. It was a big deal at the time too, yeah. I'm just gonna have to go look it up when I'm done.
Yeah, I know Nitro Rad said it was a good game. Okay. So... Bouillon is full. <laughs> Never trust a YouTuber, except for me and Dave. And doomed. Well, I don't know. Wes, do you trust Dave after what he said about Back to the Future 2? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, that looks right. That looks right. Rot front should be... Rot front needs to be changed. Oh, no, that was the right way. And now... Hey, Matt. Is that it? It's the other way. <laughs> am I am I doing this right? Or did I just get it like backwards? I feel like the, uh... Dave's never seen a film, of course I don't trust him. Two of them should be the same. Where did I mess up? Hey Matt and Vanita should be the same. Yeah, I did it backwards. This one's also wrong. Oops. Uh, I think I got it right. Maybe I'm crazy. Wait. No, I didn't. I didn't get it right. I'm doing it backwards. Yeah. Oops. Is that it? Tormented souls. That yep, that's it. That's the one. Am I going crazy? Am I am I doing this right? I'm crazy. This should be the opposite. No. It should be the opposite. 
and this one should be there we go <laughs> I'm crazy all right the hole is back the hole is here again let's go ahead and enter It's meaningless. <sighs> whoa, 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 what's this? Acquires a key. Damn. Several keys. What the hell is this? Door won't open yet. I don't need to turn off the light. What's in here? We got a radio and we got the king in yellow. The last seal has been broken. It's time to go home. Now I'm in the room. And I've got nothing. All right, looks like this is the end. Two, re two repair sp spray pluses. And ammo. What have we got here? It looks like some lore dump is incoming. Aeon. Oh. We have been informed you, that your compulsory military service period was recently completed. According to our files, you have previously graduated from Mandelbrot Polytechnical High School in Route Front Sector C on R34.59C and have recently submitted an application for the, a military service assignment. You have been processed by Aeon Workforce Assignment, Previous Work Experience, Store Clerk, Part Time. Compulsory military service, long range operations. Yep, that's right. Should you not be accepted by a military service program at the end of season or find other employment, you will be assigned to the following workplace. Mining facility. That's that's where we are now. Auntie's note. I left some of yesterday's dinner in the fridge for you. You can warm it up when you get back from school. Please pick up your books your uncle ordered from the Ito bookstore on your way home. Remember to leave some space in your school bag for them this time so they won't get wet. Letter from mother. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better again. I was worried when I heard from your aunt that you were in the hospital again. I still remember how you used to get sick so much as a child. Please don't overexert yourself, okay? The photo you sent me is very interesting. What a strange coincidence that she looks so much like you. You could be twins. Perhaps she is related to us somehow, though I don't know anyone named Sio in our family. From the looks out of it, it was shot on Venita. Your military service will begin soon, so you might be wearing a uniform like her soon enough. Please send me a photo when that happens. Huh. Looks just like her. <laughs> Go get a job or you're headed for the mines. All right. If we're going for a boss fight. I better go all out. I assume that this is this is the end. Leave forever. No, not yet. Let me save. End home. Time to leave forever.
I should have grabbed my flashlight. Adler's note. All efforts to contain this illness have been in vain. All the gestalt workers have succumbed to it, leaving only dark shadows on the walls and floors where they died. And soon, all of us replica will have lost our senses and turned into writhing masses of flesh. I now believe it was not an infectious disease, nor some form of poison or radiation. It was a slow corruption of reality itself. As I've relived the same cycle over and over, each time details changed, things are twisted, added, removed. How long until it turns to nothing but noise? We've been here before. Crashed ship, a strange gate, a hole in the ground. An island beyond reach, memories from other lives, dreams of suffering and loneliness, a promise, a search for someone lost. I saw her in the red emptiness waiting for me. We had made a promise. As the memories of a stranger rushed into my mind, I felt the borders of myself blur. I can no longer tell where Falk ends and Elster begins. Damn. So it was Falk and... Falk and Ari... Er... Falk and Ariane and me, Elster, with the other girl, Alina. Stop! You must turn back. There is nothing for you there. You've tried times and you've failed every time. Don't you see you're ruining everything? This is your final warning. We were dancing to that song they start the broadcast with. We fell asleep watching that movie we had seen before so many times. That's what we did on the ship! <gasps> Why did you return? There's nothing for you here. She'll never dance with us again, no matter what we do. She doesn't even want us anymore. Falk. She won't forgive you. We are incomplete. Let us become whole again. Whoa. Oh. I'm out of bullets. I thought the game crashed for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Falk died because I shot her with my gun, bro. Dude, I hit her with that fucking grenade and I thought the game fucking crashed. Easiest boss fight of my fucking life. I can't do anything to her. I'm fucking almost out of ammo though. I'm all out. Oh, I got one more. What now? I'm all out of ammo. No use. Oh. Can't use this 
here. Oh, shit. I know what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to knock her down and then use the spears on her. Okay, I gotta reload. Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. I just kept fucking shooting her. <laughs> Alright. I'm all full up. Okay. Time to leave forever. I just gotta read these notes. Just shoot it until it dies. So why does Adler care about any of this? <laughs> Throw those spears. Ow. No space to carry spear. I don't need all of these. Oh, bring all your Yeah, okay, I guess you're right. It did say that. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. We're going through time. I can't- Oh, whoa! I don't need the pistol ammo. Ow. Ow. Get the healing spray. Ugh. I'm hurt. A spear? No. <sighs> I think I have to kill this guy that's wandering around. Throw those spears, babe. There we go. What? Ugh. Pull up. Ugh. 
Why are you looking that way? The enemy's in front of you. Uh, ow. Getting wombo comboed. Can you aim at the boss that's right in front of you, Chief? Can, can you do that? shield now. And we got the shining floor design. Okay, I've got empty slots. Throw those damn spears, babe. Oh no. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I can't see shit. See anything? Okay, I forgot how to shoot, apparently. One more. Ah, fuck. Alright. Ah. One more shot and you're finished. I like that it kept giving me ammo for all the guns that I didn't bring with me. Uh...
Well, wait, I need to have a spot open. So you really can't bring anything to this boss fight, huh? Spears. <laughs> grab the grab the spear. Please! Please! <laughs> Shields are always just in my way. Oh, okay. That was my fault. Fall down. I'm out of ammo. I got her though. Fall over. I need a 
spear, don't I? Okay, I got one. Uh! trade with her or did she just interrupt my shot? Well, so I can't destroy that, but I can destroy this. And I want to grab this instead. Here, back at the end. Ow. Ow. Did I get her? I still have an auto injector, right? Okay. Go down! Violent scene missing. We are one. Turned off the violence? I didn't. Uh, once again. You've returned. Are you willing to go through with this once more. You've seen what happens. This world cannot take much more. This may be our last chance. One more. We'll do it again. If you go back, it'll all fall apart. I can't let that happen, you selfish monster. Oh! That's the knife that was stuck in him. Now it's in me. the ship again. <gasps> I've got the stronger arms this time. It's not going to fall off. We made it. Penrose briefing, phase two. 
By our calculations, 1,500 cycles of mission time will have passed when you receive this message. Congratulations, comrade. By now, you should have become fully acclimated or acclimatized to your new life on board your ship. As you approach the Oort cloud, your search for new worlds will begin. Utilizing the long-range sensors, you will scout for valuable resources, habitable worlds, or signs of alien life. Remember to rely on your replica to assist you in maintaining your vessel. We wish you all great success in your mission. We were supposed to go further beyond. When I signed up for this mission, I just wanted to get away from everything. I was sick of rot front, of school, of the photo store, sick of the fake smiles and the whispering behind people's backs. When I saw the photo of that soldier, I wondered who she was. Was she happy? Was her family proud of her? Did her comrades love her? Since we looked alike, could I have been like her? But in the end, I just wanted to leave. Nothing I had done or made ever meant anything to anyone, so why bother? Here I'm finally free. I get to be by myself and do what I want. I can finally be happy. Is there more? Oh. I was like trying to go down the pit. I talked some more to the Elster unit. She's different from the replicas I knew back at home. Nothing like my teachers or the block warp protector. I know she didn't have a choice, but it feels like she's also here because she didn't fit in. It's like we've run away from the world together. At first I didn't like having someone around, and I was glad that she's quiet and didn't approach me, but lately I've missed having someone I can talk to. It's been so long since I've seen another person. Never thought I'd miss it. Except for her, everything is the same in here, always. Nothing ever changes. Congratulations, comrade. You've survived 3,000 cycles, reaching the final phase of the Penrose program. With the end of the operational lifetime of your replica unit approaching, it is time to prepare for the final phase of your mission. If you have not found a suitable world for landing by this point, accept that you will not find solace in the thought that others might be successful where you failed. As you are probably aware, your ship's spare parts and rations will soon be depleted. Life support systems and reactor shielding will soon begin to fail, and radiation may be may begin to leak from the cooling system. We recommend you do not attempt to prolong your suffering by reusing old filters or rationing supplies. Instead, make peace with your fate. We suggest that you ask your replica, while it is still functional, to spare you a slow and agonizing death, or that you take permanent rest in the cryogenic pod. Remember, you will die having served your nation by partaking in a glorious demonstration of our power. Damn. All her paintings are here. That's why her teeth were falling out. Her ship's fucked. Had a strange dream. I was listening to the radio with my mother. Like back then, the numbers were on, and mother was taking notes with a book on her lap. It was that book I saw in the shop window of the bookstore where the twins lived. The one with the yellow hooded figure on the cover. When I went there to buy it, it was gone, and Erica said the protectors had confiscated it. Or was it Issa? I can't remember. Everything is always the same. I feel like I'm trapped inside this ship. I know every bolt on every panel of every room of it. I've seen everything. I've done everything there is to do in here. I can't concentrate on anything. It's like there's this fog in my head, and whenever I try to do anything, I just can't focus. I want to go outside. I want to breathe fresh air. I want to feel wind on my face and in my hair. I think I lost more hair. I'm sitting here, getting older. Every time I wake up, I feel older, weaker, and sicker get out of breath so easily lately and my back hurts when I sit down. How much longer will this go on? It feels like I'm just slowly dying. Scurvy? No, she got radiation because the, the ship's system started failing. Radiation poisoning. Whoa, okay, so she was supposed to, like, she was supposed to be dead by, like, cycle 3000. Now we're at cycle 5009. I'm tired of it all. Every time I go to sleep, I wonder if I'll wake up again. I'm scared it'll be the last time I said goodnight to her. Did I say it right? Will she be okay? What if one of us just won't wake up tomorrow? I don't want to die. I don't want to live anymore either. Everything is just so exhausting. I just want to lie down and disappear. I just want to sleep. Please just let me sleep. 
just make it stop. Which way do we go? It's time. This is all that's left. No. No. <gasps> that's me! From another timeline. I didn't make it. I couldn't keep my promise. Despite my best efforts, I eventually fell ill too. It had to end this way. Elster. I can't do it. You have to do it. It's time for this to end. Please. This is some Evangelion shit. Time's up. No happy ending. Damn. That was pretty good. I liked that the first part was about, like, the Elster unit, and the second part was about your your buddy. Apparently there's another ending. A good ending. Allegedly. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll look into getting that one day.
<laughs> the ship been ending. Just watch on YouTube. Come on. Come on. Just watch on YouTube. Come on, man. I think this is the true ending because he's we got the long credits yeah i watched you play this so i've basically beaten signalis yeah i watched my favorite streamer play it i've basically played it myself That's why it's all in German. It was made in Hamburg. I really liked this game. Now I gotta go watch Dave's review of it. Dutch Meisters. Yeah, it was made by two people, apparently. Just two women. I wonder if these guys have made any other games. Oh, so their company's been around for 10 years. Total game time, 10 hours. 55 times saved. 10 times died. <laughs> Average time between saves, 11 minutes. Amazing. Total healing? Oh, wait. I was gonna say... Like, surely I didn't heal myself 1,400 times. Death cheated twice. That would just be in the final boss. I got the ending. Pro I got the promise ending. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's some fucking cheat code written down there. I'm going to write that down. P-C-K-X-Norm. Dash, Revy. Dash, Deeb. So what now? Begin anew. I did it. I just I now I gotta see like what other endings are there. Like surely there's a dog ending, right? Hold on a sec.
endings. Four endings? On your initial run, you'll get one of the three endings after your fight with Falk. Leave, memory, or promise. Damn. There's four endings. Crazy. How the hell do you get these endings? How do I... I gotta find, like, a... An ending guide that, like, doesn't also spoil it for me. Where the game keeps track of values named leave, memory, or promise is based on the player's statistics. Oh, so if you beat the game in less than six hours, you get memory. Damn, I got the highest score. I got the worst ending. <laughs> That's a bummer. Guess it's time to jump back in. Maybe, maybe some other time. So, kind of a short one today. I guess that's the end. Um, it feels like it was a short one. It's all up here. It's all uphill from here then. Oh, Tucker will go live? Yeah, so the next game is going to be another gift from a friend. The next uh, Monday, Thursday game, I should say, is another gift from from Wiggle uh, or B's Odyssey. Let me install it. Or Orbo's Odyssey, excuse me. So we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. Surely it'll be um, a lot different in tone. This looks like a funny game. So good night, everybody.